If you click BCC Title Studio and drag it onto your timeline, I will give you the beginner's guide on how to use it. Hey, it's Grips, and thanks for joining me as you do. BCC Title Studio. I'm going to show you how to get started with this so you're on your way to make your first cool looking video. Very simple. You can use all, or you can come down here in the FX menu called Boris. Boris just starts with the B, so you can quite easily see it. Click and drag it and place it on your footage like so. Double click, customs filter, and you are now in the basic interface. There is an advance, but I would highly recommend if you're learning, stay with this. Quick overview, uh, preview window, thumbnail view. These are the categories, and over here we have the title tracks editor. Right, now the first thing I would highly recommend that you do is change these two settings here. If you look at it, highlight, it says preview background. In other words, if you apply any of these effects onto your footage and then wish to preview it, it is also going to have to render the video that you're applying it to. And this is going to take a lot of time and the rendering is going to be really, really slow for you to watch. So click on this and either choose black or check it boards i would recommend black reason is if you're using white text you won't be able to see it because of the checkered boards duh okay the second one i would do is i would change the way i would look at like in other words the preview now i'm looking at full 100 percent i realistically don't need to use all 100 percent i would choose quarter Yes, the text doesn't look as sharp, but once you apply it or to the final rendering, it will be back to 100. But what this allows, it just allows for you to preview the video while you're trying to change the attributes. Most of these are quite simple, but there are some that actually uses animation, and this is where you get slowed down. And if your computer is as old as mine, when Jesus was a baby, it's going to take you a really, really long time. Okay. Let's look for something really simple. Uh, most people probably think lower thirds. Pick the one that you want, like so. Click on it once, that's all you need to do. To change any of these, so simple, you can see it in text one and text two. You don't need to be Einstein to figure out what you need to do. You click and drag, and then begin to replace those words with yours. Now, once you're happy with what it is that you need to change, insert text voila you are finished now let's say you do create uh, grab something like uh, clocks or anything like that where it has a lot more things that you can change sometimes you need to scroll this down by using this little scroll bar i would recommend click and drag on the highlight it where it's yellow and bring it up you don't need to have such a large preview window and then that will reveal any additional tracks it's just handy to know also as you're going through this menu and you want to see everything for the first time be careful if you're still playing or previewing this as you go through all these options they don't show you the preview because it's still trying to run this one and cannot actually update this one but if you stop it they all come up they all come back so now you know exactly what they are so you can see all the good stuff these ones do so keep that in mind just in case you can't figure out why these aren't preview okay forget all that so here's a good example have a look at all the detail here look there's a lot of different layers that i can change so again if i just move it up it's just a lot easier to work with cool i think so once you're happy with everything, go down here, press apply, and now you have applied this to your video. Look at that. So easy. Nice. Okay, now here's an issue that you will get as a beginner. Let's say you chose a lower third. You wanted to come in after two seconds of the video has been played, and then leave after five seconds. So there's a five second play on the screen and disappear my video track here it's a total length of 55 seconds the filter will play the entire length of the clip so this filter will be here for 55 seconds i'm going to show you two ways to fix this problem 
the easiest problem is like this. Set up your video before applying the Boris filter. So let's delete that. So let's say, for instance, you want it to start at the two second mark. Grab your CTI, your current time indicator, to the two second mark. That's about here. You press S on the keyboard so that you split the video. Move it another five seconds along to get to about seven seconds. You guessed it, you press S again. Highlight the middle clip. Now what you can do is you click and drag the Boris filter onto that highlighted clip. And now anything that you do into the Boris filter will only apply to that section of the video clip. So that technically is the easiest way you can do it. I'm gonna control Z to go back to the start. I'm gonna reapply the Boris filter to show you the second option. Double click, customs filter. This is the only time I would recommend for you to go into the advanced tab. Advanced tab, wait five seconds, new screen pops up. Okay, as you can see, this is a lot more controls here. It can be daunting. It's okay. I'm just going to show you a quick way to fix that issue that it doesn't play the entire length of the clip. Right now, this is highlighted. So basically, this is the folder. And within the folder is the attributes of all the effects that that little the thumbnails does for your video. All you need to do is change the length of this track because this length is exactly 55 seconds, which is identical to the clip that's in the editor. If you click and drag this node, let's say you want to do the seven seconds, and you want to start at two seconds, you click and drag the node to the two second mark. Once you are happy with that, apply. The effect will now only last two seconds, in, after two seconds of play. One, two, here it comes, Boris FX, and it will disappear right now. Look at that. How easy was that? Well, quite easy, actually. So there you go. This is a very easy way to get you started on Boris BCC Title Studio. And as always, thanks for watching.